Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Danny. You can call me Danny or Danny Antoinette, whatever you would like. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I got these passion twist, a bohemian twist, whatever you want to call it. I did do these myself. So if you want to see how I got these twists, then make sure to just keep watching. Before we get started, for this look, you're going to need the following products. I used this Afro Natural Caribbean Passion Twist hair. I got this from Beauty Depot. You're going to need some Shine and Jam. I used the Extra Hold. You're going to need a rat tooth comb. You're going to need some rubber bands, a crochet needle, and some styling gel of your choice. I use the Miel Styling Gel in Honey and Ginger, which smells amazing. So I'll show you my, I look like Will Bow Wow. What is going on? <laughs> so I washed my hair. Um, I went ahead and wa uh, wash washed it with shampoo, conditioned it, deep conditioned it, did a deep mask, and then... Um, I, after that, I let I put in some leave-in conditioner and detangled my hair, um, and then I put in some heat protectant and I uh, blow-dried my hair out just a little bit so that it was at least a little bit easier to part and grip. So now I am making my plaits in the back. My plaits in the back, I'll show you. Hold on. Mind you, they probably aren't the straightest things in the world because I am doing this myself and I don't have a mirror to go back and forth on unless I were to stand in the bathroom and do this all the time, which I'm not that pressed by it. Um, but this is the back of my hair. Hopefully you all can see that. And I'm just putting little plaques in. I'm using this jam to grab it together and like smooth it out so that it's easier to put in. And then I just, yeah. So I'm going to continue to do this for the rest of my head and then I'll come back and show you all how I do the twist. Um, I may wait till I get to the top of my hair to show you just so it's easier for me to film so that you can see. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. This is gonna take me probably another hour to do and then I'll start with my twist. <laughs> what is going on so good morning um i went to bed <laughs> because i was tired it took me forever just to do these like to part it felt like it took forever for me really it took like probably two hours an hour and a half to two hours and i started doing some test twists to see how exactly i wanted to get it done so um, I was seeing how, what amount of hair I wanted to use for each twist to see how big it was and stuff. But these are my plaits or parts. Um, I made sure when I was parting, especially in the front. So I went sideways um, in the back. And then when I got over like to the crown of my head, then I went like in rows. So that whenever I want to part my hair, I knew exactly where it was going to be parted. Um, and I just wanted it to look uniformed. So like the back, starting here, I think, let me see. Yeah, so starting here is where it goes like this and then in the back it lays down, if that makes sense. So I made sure, cause I wanted to have a side part. I wanted to have a deep side part, a regular, a regular side part, I couldn't remember which one. And then I wanted to have a middle part and I made sure to do it on both sides as well. So yeah, that's how I have my hair plaited. Um, I'm going to continue to twist my hair and then I'm going to come back and show you all, I guess the top because it's hard. To, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hard to show you all. Um, the back of my hair right now like trying to film and do it at the same time so i feel like it would be easier for me to show you the front of my hair um because you'd be able to see everything so i'm going to continue to do my hair um and continue to twist and then when i get to the top i'll show you all exactly how i install it okay so it is now like three hours later <laughs> and I am done twisting the rest of this part of my hair. 
Um, so far, so good. I am loving this and I like it a lot more than I did the first time I did this because it was a mess, I feel like, the first time. But this is so light. I love this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all how I do my twist. Hold on. I'm going to take this out of the rubber bands. I have about five left. So, and again, the parting is okay. It's not the absolute greatest, but I did what I could. So I'm going to get my rubber band. Tie these up just so it doesn't get in the way. So I'm going to be using this Miel, I think that's how you say it, styling gel, the honey and ginger. It smells so good. I love ginger though, so maybe that's why. But I take a good little amount and I put it all on my hair. This helps it blend in with the twisting hair. I don't like putting that shine and jam that I use to lay down my hair to part. I don't like putting that throughout my hair. It just looks crazy <laughs> and it feels crazy and it's just, it builds up. So I don't like that. So I comb through, make sure I have everything, make sure I have the gel on everything on all the parts of my hair. Now I'm going to take my needle and what I do, I try to position it a little bit differently because I don't want my rubber bands to show. So I put it in at a downwards angle. I don't put it through the side. I put it in through a downwards angle. So I go like that, as you can see. And I only take one strand of this hair. I don't take two. I started off taking two at the bottom, but then I was scared I wasn't going to have enough hair. So I went with one and I actually like one better. It looks a little bit more natural than the two um, because the two makes it a little too bulky. So I take one and I put it in the loop right here. And then I close the latch and I pull it through. So then you have this little loop and then after that I grab one end of it and pull the other one through. It's, it's just easier that way so it doesn't get caught and you're pulling both at the same time. So now it is looped into my hair. So I split up my real hair and I split it up into two pieces like this and then at the top you can see I twirl it around twice just to make sure that it covers the rubber band and then I just start twisting. When I get to about this part, which is important for me, I make sure that I'm twisting it the right way because if you twist it the wrong way like this, it'll unravel like that and it also look like, I wish I could find a break. Uh, one that I have to redo. It doesn't look like a twist. It looks kind of like straggly, which last time that's how I did it because I thought it was supposed to, but I like more uniform twists like this rather than it being not a full twist, if that makes sense. It's not like a spiral. Um, so then I know that I have to twist the other way so that it'll form a regular twist and won't unravel. So if I undo, if I let it go, it's not gonna unravel. So that's how I know I'm going in the right direction. So then I just twist this all the way down to the bottom. Some of them I'll leave a little bit of space for, like I'll make sure that I have enough space for it to curl up. And some of them I, um, like this one, went all the way to the bottom just kind of give it give it a little curl and bohemian look okay so that's how it looks at the bottom there's a little bit left over because one wasn't as even um but i also go ahead and chop off the scraggly parts of it so now that's what it looks like so i'm going to do the rest of these i think i have like five left so I'm gonna go through and do the rest of these.
Okay, so I am done with all of the twists. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in, I've split up one of these pieces, I split it into two and I put some gel on it to make it look a little bit more uniformed um, than what it was because it looked like really just a mess. So I have it a little bit more uniform and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna crochet it in to a piece and I'm going to crochet that in. I'm gonna close the loop. Hopefully it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. Pull that through. But now I'm gonna do it like a regular crochet. So with the hair, the hair I'm gonna pull it through the loop and then pull so that it's secure. And now I have in the hair, so it looks a little bit more bohemian. And I'm going to put some more gel on it. I may make the pieces even smaller, but I'm gonna put more gel on it just so it looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna do that all around my head really quickly. It shouldn't take me too long. It's a little bit easier than twisting. So I'm gonna put random pieces throughout my head so that I can have that curly effect. So as you can see, this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them down in the comment section below. Also go ahead and thumbs up this video for me. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.